Today's top story, the long-awaited special session on public safety getting underway in the state capitol later today. Top Republicans are blocking new gun restrictions despite polls and public feedback requested by the governor showing a majority of voters want them. How do they explain that? State Capitol reporter Chris O'Brien and photojournalist Joe Gregory examine the issue as session kicks off. Poll after poll, response after response, and yet still no budging on gun control. I'm, I'm not hopeful at all. I'm not optimistic at all. I just don't think this is going to happen. They've shown that they're not willing to listen to, any, to anything. After the horrific Covenant shooting back in March, Governor Bill Lee opened up a public response form about what changes the state should make in the aftermath. By some accounts, over 80% called for stricter gun laws. Yet still nothing. I asked Governor Bill Lee how he justified not including the opportunity for more reform in his official proclamation. You know, I think it's important that that we give Tennesseans a, an opportunity to express their voice. That's what the portal is for. It's a public portal, so so everyone can see it. All the lawmakers can see it. All the members of the General Assembly, and I've asked them to. I also asked Lee if he felt like the General Assembly did a sufficient job in reviewing the responses. I trust the members of the General Assembly. They represent their constituents. That is, you know, that's what they're elected to do. And so, of course, they listen to the people that live in their respective districts and then they come together and work together with other lawmakers to decide what's in the best interest of Tennesseans in general. Even further, multiple polls have shown a desire for more gun control. Vandy puts out polls all the time. Um, from what I saw, just briefly looking at it, it was a very small sample size of just over a thousand in a state that's got almost seven million. And the bottom line is, if you look at the makeup of the legislature, we're a supermajority Republican state. And beyond everything, several Covenant families came together to form a new nonprofit and called on lawmakers to pass some small bipartisan gun reform ideas but those have fallen on deaf ears. Well, I don't think all covenant parents can be lumped in into one segment. We've talked to covenant parents that feel a little bit differently, that have a little different angle on it. Um, and so I think what, what they want to see is they want to see movement. Of course, how to achieve that movement is the crux of the argument. In Nashville, Chris O'Brien. And there will be an increased security presence at the state capitol as lawmakers return today. Nashville Metro Police say the department has a contingency plan in place. Extra troopers and officers will be around the outside of the capitol building. We are also told that there is no indication that anything will get out of hand. However, we are told they anticipate protests but expect them to stay peaceful.